the spots. Quarantine has decided to lie down and he's been here for about 10 minutes. But literally as you cut across to us now, the sunlight has just come out for the first time. And I think that may possibly cause him to move into a more shady area. But time will tell. For now though, he's just having a breather. And I'm so happy that you got to see Kunyuma, his brother, with Mark. Really, really fantastic to see two brothers on the same drive. Question that's just come through from Kelsey in Georgia. Good morning, Kelsey, and welcome on board with us. Kelsey's asking whether Quarantine and Kunyuma, the two brothers, will know one another, and they certainly will. She also asked what their behavior would be towards one another, and that would be very interesting, and sadly, I've never seen them together, so I don't know how they would, would act. I think a lot would depend if there was food in the area and there's no doubt that one of them will be more dominant than the other um, but I have yet to see them together and I really hope I do get to at some stage oh is the heat getting too much for him oh beautiful so the little yawn we just saw him do is a sign that he may well get up and mobile soon. So that's something for us to look forward to. Absolutely beautiful. Again, the sniffing continues. And I wonder if he's not following the scent trail of another leopard, possibly his mother, hoping to find her with food. That is something that these two brothers have been doing, is relying a lot on Karula, their mother, for kills. So that could be a place, Kelsey, where we could see them all join up. Now, wouldn't that be great seeing the reaction of their mother towards them and she'll be getting to a point now where she doesn't want them really to be hanging around stealing her food so her behavior will be very interesting to them as well as just the two of them towards one another It's really beautiful with all these grass seeds in and around it, so I'm really enjoying the scene. What will his next move though be? I wonder. He is looking towards quarantine clearings. They're not close by, probably a mile or so from here, but it has been the general direction of his movement today. I'm just going to reposition the vehicle slightly and try and get a little bit further in front of him in order to get a better view. 
We all good? Yep. Okay. So, as I was saying, folks, hugely happy that you got to view the two leopards today. And that doesn't happen often, so we should really be grateful for this. Fortunate here in that other vehicles were hesitant to come through into this thick block that our vehicle can manage to maneuver through. So we've got no other vehicles here, but I'm hoping that he does pop out into a place where we can call the other vehicles so they can also come and enjoy the sighting with us. But for now, we have got. the beauty of the sighting all to ourselves. How long it will continue for, I'm not sure, because I've never been off-road in this area, but what I can tell you, from where we are now, it is appearing very thick. But as long as we can keep an eye on him, even if we have to do big loops around, we may still be able to stay in close enough proximity to him to know his movements and therefore stay with him. 